So today we're starting to look at Archicad. We've opened up a brand new file, file new. We're based it on a standard template and we've based it on the standard workspace. Now what is a template and workspace? The, the template is information. It's uh, maybe layouts or masters. It could be drawing information and it's settings. Things like in our options, element attributes, our layer settings, line types, pens and colors, fill types, surfaces, building materials, composites, profile manager, and more. There's a lot of information that's built into our templates. It can all be adjusted, and once you get more familiar with Archicad, you can create your own templates. What's our workspace? Our workspace is the combination of things on our screen. That's the best way to understand it. So our toolbars and our palettes. We have our toolbars. We can see here that some of them all of them in this case are docked. Docked means that they're fixed to the side of the screen or we can remove them and they're floating. The problem with a floating toolbar or palette is that it will end up covering our drawings. So we should always try to make sure they're docked. If you're not sure how to do that, drag it to the side of the screen that you want it to go to. Once you get to the edge, hopefully it's going to dock for you. If it doesn't dock, just keep moving it around until it does that. Now, because I've got a projector on connected to my screen, it's also going to muck that up sometimes. So sometimes I'll be showing you things and it won't necessarily relate properly. There'll be some things that you might not want to have on your screen at all. There's a renovation toolbar here. I loathe the renovation tool. Uh, it's not something that I ever use, and even though I work with projects that do renovations, it's not something that I use. If you find it useful, please go for it. Um, I don't recommend it, particularly for beginners, maybe for an advanced Archicad user, but I just find that it confuses more people than it's worth. What I'd recommend that you do ensure is that the renovation filter is set to show all elements. Most commonly, um, students will say to me, I've drawn something and it's not showing properly or it's just not showing at all. And it's nearly always that in the renovation filter, it's not showing all the elements. So if you've got a problem, check that. Um, otherwise, yeah, try not to use it. And by getting rid of that, that'll clear up your screen. We see that there's still a lot of bu buttons, a lot of functions. We sort of need to have all of them. We can slim some of them down. This toolbar on the side is our toolbox. And these are all the elements that we use. So there's the select elements, our arrow and our marquee tool. There's the design elements, which is a lot of the 3D tools. There's our document elements, which is most of the 2D tools. And then there's more, which is a combination of 2D and 3D. And I guess they're put there because they're not used as commonly. However, when we start and learning 2D tools, I'll be using this spline tool lots and lots. Now, they, they used to have the name next to it. If you click on it, you'll see, still see that the name comes up, but they've gotten rid of that to try to slim it down, to make it smaller, to make it um, take up less space. We can also do that again. We can stretch this. We can make it bigger so it shows, or we can make it smaller so it's a double row, or smaller again, single row, or smaller again, and then it's just a single tool. Of course, what that means is it makes it longer. So if we want to get down to more, we sort of have to scroll. So what we can do is actually click on the tabs, and that allows us to maybe just open up or close tabs. So managing an Archicad file is partly about real estate. How much real estate, how much screen size do we have? Of course, that's maybe dependent on how big your screen is. I'm working on a 13-inch Mac book air and I'm connected to a projector and because I'm connected to a projector therefore I don't want to have a very high resolution so you can see what I'm doing uh, also for a video if you want to look at this on a mobile it's not really good if I have a massive screen either so I use a pretty small screen to do videos um, you can use as big a screen as you can get the bigger the screen maybe the better it is. Some people of course use dual screens or multiple screens and that's also very useful as well. I find not so useful just for Archicad but it's very common that you'll be working with Archicad and having reference material open. Maybe it's a brick rod or maybe it's product literature. So having a, a dual screen for something like that is very useful. Alright let's move on. What's this one over here? This is called our navigator. Where do we find that? 
If we go to Windows, we have Toolbars and we have Palettes. And our Navigator is ticked in our Palettes. If I untick that, it's going to hide it. I can either go to Windows Palettes to turn that back on, or I have this little guy over here, and I can click, click, and I can say Show Navigator and then that will turn it back on. We can also have it so it pops up and pops down. I find that incredibly irritating and while popping up and popping down again gives, it, gives us more real estate, I find it too slow and too impractical. So I like my navigator to be there all the time, but of course we can make it quite thin or we can make it very wide. Of course the wider it is the more we can see things, the thinner it is sometimes those words hide, but if it's too wide it just takes up more space. What does our template do? It makes a lot of information for us. It gives us stories, sections, elevations, worksheets, details, and 3D documents, and a whole lot of schedules in our project map. It also gives us saved views. It gives us layouts. What's a layout? It's a piece of paper. It's a way of describing it. So a layout is where we actually put a drawing, put a view, and then the final one is our publisher or publisher set, and that's effectively pages again. So that's pieces of paper. And, and one way of thinking about that is a uh, publisher is layouts or groups of layouts. Now I don't use this publisher button here. If I want to get to my publisher, I actually go through a different means. I go click on this button and then go to my organizer. And the reason why I like the organizer is it gives us the ability to have a split screen where we have our layouts on one side and our publishers on another side, which means we can drag and drop very easily. And so we can have individual layouts. Again, what's an individual layout? That's a page. Let's click on one. And then we can have multiple pages ready for printing. So we're not up to that point yet, but that's where we're aiming. Now, right now we want to look at title blocks, what they are, how we interact with them, and how we create them. And we're doing this to really learn and understand first how to use the 2D tools. For the next few weeks of videos, we're going to be looking at how to create two-dimensional documentation. Now, Archicad's not entirely built for 2D documentation. But if you're new to Archicad and the 3D tools are a little bit too complicated, learning the 2D tools, understanding what 2D tools are, how to use lines, and even if you really want to, which we're going to do is looking at projection, orthographic projection using 2D lines. It's a really good basic understanding of what CAD is. Again, not what Archicad's built for, but it's a great place to start. Uh, if, particularly if you've never used CAD before. And then we're going to supersede that by using 3D tools and understanding Archicad for its BIM capabilities. All right. So that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to actually interact with these layouts a bit more and um, look at how we can create our own.